Seeking an end to the crisis. Before Wednesday's high-level talks in Doha, the Transitional National Council, the TNC, reached out to European powers. We want more efforts regarding protection of the Libyan civil civilians against this aggression going now on the ground. The battle between Gaddafi's troops and opposition forces is deadlocked, and there have been complaints that NATO is simply not doing enough to protect Libyan civilians. For the TNC, the aim of Wednesday's meeting, to get international recognition and break the stalemate of the current crisis. The key players at that meeting, the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani. Qatar is one of three countries along with France and Italy that has officially recognized the council. Co-chairing is the UK's Foreign Minister, William Haig. Mr Haig has urged NATO to increase its missions if it is to succeed. German Foreign Minister Guido Westerwelle is also attending. Germany plays no military role in the operation and backs only humanitarian efforts in Libya. And Libya's former Foreign Minister Musa Kusa will make an appearance. He's been free to attend after British authorities questioned him about the Lockerbie bombing. But he's being viewed with some suspicion by the TNC. While Musa Kusa has distanced himself from Gaddafi's regime in Tripoli, he has not called for the Libyan leader to resign. The opposition won't accept anything less than Gaddafi and his family's removal. A recent mediation by the African Union stopped short of calling on Colonel Gaddafi to step down. That too was met with skepticism by the TNC. And while this impasse continues, the body count from this war continues to rise. It's time, the opposition forces say, for the international community to step up to its promises. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.